A festival of democracy is here. Meghalaya all set for assembly polls. 21.61 lakh voters to exercise their franchise. Get all election stories and updates only on the Meghalaya. Hello viewers, welcome back to our new show, Know Your Constituency, a program that aims to highlight the ins and outs of a particular constituency, its people and aspirations, its problems and lacunae, its politics and social dynamics. On today's episode of Know Your Constituency, we are exploring North Shillong Constituency. North Shillong is known for many things, for being a commercial hub and for housing one of the oldest educational institutions in the state. Being the heart of the city, the constituency has seen and witnessed political agitations and intense curfews. With elections right around the corner, the constituency is witnessing multidisciplinary candidates vying for votes from a cosmopolitan population. Before we dive any further, here are some political facts about North Shillong that might interest you. North Shillong found its origins after the delimitation happened in 2013. It was a part of the Bigger Jaya constituency, which later was divided into North and West Shillong. Prior to the delimitation, regional parties like the Kasi Hinyotrep Awakening Movement, KNAM, United Democratic Party, UDP, and Hills People Union, HPU, have always backed the MLA seat in the constituency, despite being a cosmopolitan area. The first election in this constituency was held in 2013, where Congress candidate Roshan Wadri, the first ever candidate and female candidate to emerge victorious from the constituency. In 2018, Knam's president, Adalbert Nongrum, won the seat of the sitting MLA in the area with only 30% from the total number of votes. Nongrum was the only representative from the party in the 2018 assembly. On 2022, Nongrum resigned as president of KNAM and in 2023 joined Arden Miller Basarimoit's new party, Voice of the People Party, to contest in the upcoming election. Did you know that there are 27,307 voters in the constituency, of which 13,740 are males and 13,567 are females? Let's move to the real deal, the essence of every constituency, its people. In Jaya, there are not enough roads for, for us, especially us mothers. No, We have to carry our baby everywhere. No, Very little side roads, that's why. In particular, I don't face any issue, but overall there are some issues like drugs issues there, petty crimes is there, the administration is not taking any action. There are no MLA schemes or anything implemented in this colony. More of the youth, we talk about youth if it, uh, they are unemployed right now. If they are the MLA of this colony, then they should uh, see everything, what comes under them and what they can do for the people. The MLA scheme is going to be able to get 2.5 crores. The sun's name is going to be 12.5 crores. The 12.5 crores is going to be 1,250 lakhs. The sun's name is going to be able to get 1,250 lakhs. The sun's name is going to be able to get 1,250 lakhs. The sun's name is going to be able to get 1,250 lakhs. The sun's name is going to be able to get 1,250 lakhs. The sun's name is going to be the people have spoken and they have raised their issues. So the question now is, who will listen and stand for the people? Not Shillong's warring field is quite tougher than expected as eight candidates from different walks of life will go up against each other. BGP's candidate M. Karl Krang, a former top cop, coming into the fore makes it ironic as we know Knam's and Not's history with police authorities. UDP's Dr. Amanwar raises a bigger question. If he comes to power, how will our healthcare system transform? TMC's LG Varinda raises the notion if a female candidate would ever come back to power in the North. Ransom Sutunga is another ex-government official who is vying for this seat. He will be contesting on an NPP ticket. 
We also have former BJP leader J. Lingdo, who will be contesting from Congress and Michael Kasantio, an independent candidate. Interestingly, Michael Kasantio was denied a BJP ticket for reportedly raising the issue of a cash for ticket scam. Aside from these, there is another candidate in the fray, Reverend Kursoi Borpurto, a renowned columnist, who go up against the giants as a representative of Kam. The North now becomes an arena of intellectuals vying for the MLA seat, which makes sitting MLA Adalbert Nongrum's comeback quite shaky and uncertain. As the election nears, we are left sitting on the edge of our seats, as these coming five years in not so long will determine the kind of facelift it will undergo. With this, we come to the end of our episode of Know Your Constituency. Stay connected with The Megalion for more election news and updates. Signing off, Madam Arwen from The Megalion.